This test method has two alternative test specimens. The tooling depicted here makes the rectangular specimen, generally known as the transverse rupture bar. The alternative specimen is cylindrical. The procedure used would be similar, but would require a different set of compacting tools. With the lower punch inserted, position the die cavity to the desired filling height by using supporting spacers between the die and lower press platen. Pour the powder sample, obtained in accordance with MPIF standard 01, into the die cavity. Then, using a non-magnetic straight edge, level off the sample to obtain a uniform distribution. Insert the top punch and apply a preliminary pressure of approximately 5,000 psi, or 35 megapascals, simultaneously to the top and bottom punches. Remove the spacers supporting the die and then apply the compacting pressure. The required compacting pressure should be applied at an approximate rate of 30 TSI per minute or 400 megapascals per minute. Release the pressure as soon as the required pressure is attained. Dwelling at pressure for as little as 10 seconds can increase iron powder compacted density by 0.3%. The green compact is ejected from the die by removing the upper punch, placing a spacer between the upper surface of the die and the upper press platen, and applying pressure. It is advisable to place rubber pads above the lower punch base or the lower platen to prevent tool damage when the die drops as the compact clears the upper die surface. The ejected compact is removed and its dimensions are measured to the nearest 0.0002 inch or 0.005 millimeter. The green compact is also weighed to the nearest 0.01 grams.